I'm back! Welcome back to the channel. This is a crucial moment between Leeds United and the transfer window. In the next couple of weeks, we're going to be seeing some major, major news hit the window. So if you haven't smashed the subscribe button right now, please go and do that right now because you're helping me out a bunch. And if you haven't watched my vlog that I released the other week, please do because I noticed the viewership for the vlog and for the videos, the Leeds videos have dropped immensely. So if we can get over there and show me some love, it'll be at the end of this video or in the description or just go straight to my homepage and it'll be on there. Thank you so much and I appreciate that. So let's get into this. The first article of the day is currently Monday, 22nd of August. Leeds United could make a move for Bamba Dieng before the transfer window deadline. The 22 year old forward was left out of Marseille squad from their League One clash with Nantes on Saturday evening amid speculation over his future. Leeds are also the several teams to be linked with the move for the Senegal International with the likes of Newcastle and West Ham at United also keen. But journalist Robin Berner believes that the Whites could be an ideal spot for Dieng. It could be a nice move for him. Looks like he won't get much of an opportunity to play in the OM season this season, which is a shame because he needs to show someone to show a bit of confidence in him. Lead striker such as the French top flight with Stadia Rennes. Frontman Marcel Terry is thought to be among the options. Now, let me know about this player, Bamba Dieng. I've heard his name quite a lot, especially when I was on holiday. Not much news front, but some of the sources that I have have told me Bamba Dieng is very very, 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 very close to joining Leeds United. However, it's not all confirmed yet, so don't get your hopes up because we have been getting our hopes up over the last couple of weeks. There's not been any movement. I'm glad we got the players in in the beginning of the transfer window, but unfortunately, we have not made any moves over the last couple of weeks, especially to sign. So we're always interested, but are we going to replace that striker option? Obviously, Rodrigo smashed it over the weekend for Chelsea. Jack Harrison, honestly, what a game that was. If you saw the game at Leeds United versus Chelsea, 3-0 to us, what a three points and goal difference as well, mate. We are flying. Currently, we are third in the table, which is great. And we're doing very, very well. Okay, the next one is Newcastle's first Jack Harrison bid was rejected last month and now an improved bid has also been turned down Leeds after the game of Chelsea. Now, why would we sell Jack Harrison? We apparently want 35 million, but we have rejected Newcastle and apparently they have launched a fresh bid for 28 million pounds. Well, that is not happening. The speculation has been covered. Next one is Leeds White's look to speed up Jose Safentes' pursuit. Leeds United reportedly looking to speed up their pursuit in Los Angeles FC midfielder is Jose Safentes. The 23 year old has admitted that the move to Europe is a dream. However, England isn't in Europe anymore, so I don't know where they got that from. Facts. <laughs> so it's been linked with the move for Ellen Road this month. The report suggested that it would be £4.1 million for the Versailles central midfielder. Now, personally, I think we need to focus on getting strikers. Obviously, I know Rodrigo's been doing well, but if he gets injured, touch wood, he doesn't then we will see what happens, but we definitely need to focus on that as well. Getting a new striker, getting a new left back. Um, obviously, striker has been smashing it in that position, but like I said, injuries are always round the corner and we need to make sure that we are smashing it in the transfer window before the end of next week, because that is when the transfer window ends, the 2nd of September, I believe. So we will see what happens there. The next one is Leeds United transfer rumours as White's linked with midfielder surprised by Man United's stance. Leeds United linked midfielder are reportedly one of three clubs eyeing up the move for Manchester United midfielder James Garner. Now Tottenham Hotspur and Southampton are also instant interested in the youngster. Now I keep saying this. The Red Devils have put a price on for £14 million. However, I keep saying this, and it's frustrating now, the club needs to look at, at experienced players. Yes, we've got loads of youths in the, in the academy. We don't need to get all of the young people in. Like we, yes, we need to focus on the academy, growing them up to the first team, however, or improving them. However, we need to get experienced players experienced players indeed the next one is after Chelsea's defeat to Leeds United Christian Pulisic dad drops a Chelsea transfer hint 
for Leeds United. That is very interesting. Are we going to become USA United? I believe it is heading down that road. But he might be a good addition to the squad. But 50 million? He's not worth 50 million. I'm sorry. He's just not. And it's just one of those things, you know. It's just one of those things at the end of the day. Pusic has somewhat fallen out of favour at Stamford Bridge. He's yet to start a Premier League fixture this season. He has brought... With he has brought on the just 26 minutes remaining at Ellen Road as Tuchel's side attempted to salvage an unlikely result. Get in, Leeds United. Honestly, go watch the highlights if you haven't seen them already. Brilliant, brilliant passing, brilliant pace. Should have been at least 4-5-0, to five nil, I believe. We had some serious chances. Serious chances indeed. The next one is Hit C. He's a serious boy. Ancelotti's already given verdict on £31 million player leads could sign right now. According to Jusen Forte, in France, the Ellen Road outfit are interested in signing the former Everton hitman Moise Keane. This is the international in the books for Everton but a difficult loan at Juventus last season means the Liga 1 side might as well sell him this summer. Keane joined in PSG at £31 million in 2021, following a difficult spell at Everton, which yielded him only two goals in 32 Premier League appearances. That is not, not good at all. I don't, I don't know about this one. These are interested in finishing off their summer business with a striker, and it'll be interesting to see if this is a genuine target or not. Based on Carlo Ancelotti's comments though, the 22 year old has a lot of potential. According to this, I think Moise Keane has many qualities. He's a great talent, as I said before, today's football must surely be based on talent, which must however be supported by great character, professionalism and personality. Now, would you see him at Ellen Road? Would you see this man at Ellen Road? Let me know down in the comments down below. Do you agree on this guy? Would you want him at Ellen Road? Let me know down in the comments down below right now. The next and final article of the day, Leeds United transfer rumours as Blackburn Rovers boss drops Ben Brett and Diaz update. Now, this guy has been all over the radar all this month. And I've seen him around and I just don't understand. Is he coming to us? Is he not? Let's find out. Blackburn Rovers John Dahl Thomason says Leeds linked to Ben Brett Diaz has not asked to leave the club this summer. The highly sought after striker has been linked in a host of many Premier League clubs, including Leeds United. Chile International scored 22 goals in the championship for Blackburn last season, has started the new campaign in fine form. Everton and AFC Bournemouth are among the reportedly rivaling Leeds for the 23 year old. Now, that personally is stupid by him. I think that is terrible. Why would you stay in the championship? If you love the club that much, fair enough, but if you want more experience, of high valuation, and you're playing with the best players in the world, in the Premier League, then why are you not? Why are you not going to the Premier League? I just don't understand. If he likes it up north, Blackburn, Leeds, they're quite close, you know? I say, ish, an hour out, two hours, who knows? But. What I'm saying is, he should be definitely coming over to Ellen Road. There's so much speculation. I don't know. Tricky one. Let me know what you think about Ben Breton Diaz down in the comments down below and if he would be a good fit. And if you love this video, please smash the subscribe button. It really does help me out. We did lose a couple of subscribers over the holiday. So let me know what you think about this down in the comments down below. Smash the subscribe button. Smash the like button. And most importantly... If you haven't checked out my latest vlog, please do that right now. And I've got a new vlog coming out in the coming weeks from my Ibiza trip. So if you have not already subscribed, like I just said, please do that right now. And I'll see you in another video very soon. See you later.